Robocop was released in 1987, it became something of an instant cult classic. And one of the main antagonists of the film is Ed 209. Uh, this character made such an impression uh, on the franchise that it would go on to feature in subsequent films, and it would even appear in the children's cartoon years later. But despite Robocop having several toy lines of his own in the late 80s and early 90s, Ed 209 had never been released in toy form before. That was, of course, until a few years ago when Nika, or Neca, uh, took on the license of Robocop and produced this deluxe figure of Ed 209. Ed comes in quite a massive uh, box here, uh, very nicely produced, uh, lovely uh, photography work done on the back there with, with Robocop, uh, and the artwork on the front of the box as well is really nicely done. And of course, the first thing you're going to notice about this figure is his sheer size. He is absolutely uh, huge. Um, and Neca have put a lot of effort into the detail on this figure. Like there is so much detail and lots of little paint apps, uh, the wires, uh, the little uh, rivets and bolts and things like that on him. Just they've done such an incredible job of bringing this character to life into toy form. I think it's absolutely spot on. Necker have done just a fantastic job of capturing all the little nuance and all the tiny little details uh, and just again just painting them in a way that you know makes them look authentic screen accurate and you know has that you know realistic wear and tear to them I just think it looks fantastic and um, now amazingly the legs actually extend so as if he wasn't big enough <laughs> he actually does grow uh, significantly higher um, which you know really, really puts him over the top um, so yeah this this is absolutely fantastic and I did not expect this at all on top of that the figure actually does have articulation as well so the legs do kick outward forwards and backwards uh, which is great um again just a little note on the uh, the attention to detail here the little paint apps and things i just think you know all those little nuts and bolts look fantastic pleasingly the sort of the shoulder pads also flip up uh which is really cool um meaning that of course the the arms can swivel up and down uh with no hindrance there whatsoever which is absolutely fantastic and really pleasingly is that the gun arms actually swivel as well well that's amazing um <laughs> i really love this I think it would have been very, very easy to just kind of make this more of a statuette kind of figure uh, with very limited articulation, but I feel like Necker have gone all out to give this the, the most they possibly could to this toy. Uh, everything they could think of to make it move or come alive, they have taken that opportunity uh, to make this figure the best it could possibly be. Uh, and it really, really shows. Um, of course, he does have should we say, uh, waist articulation there as well, so he can swivel around from side to side. Um, and yeah, you just get a sense of just, you know, how good this figure really looks. Um, now, one of the other key features of this is that it actually has electronic sounds as well. So you might notice that there's a little push button to the side uh, at the, at the, on the left there. And when you press this, this generates a series of different sound effects from the film. And here we can see how he measures up against the NECA Robocop figure that was released uh, in this wave. Um, the, the, yeah, this looks spot on. Um, yeah, obviously Ed 209 towers above Robocop as he should, and this looks like a, you know, a, a proper adversary for Robocop. It, this looks so impressive when you put these figures together. Um, it's very hard to think, really, how you could expand a Robocop line um, in terms of action figures, but I think they've done a tremendous job by giving him Ed 209. Uh, this is really all you need to sum up <laughs> Robocop, and they look so good, so good together. They've done such a fantastic job. And for collectors, it feels like the Possibilities for dioramas, displays, action pieces are, are endless with these two because they, they create the scene in themselves. Um, so you can have lots and lots of fun with these guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a like uh, and remember to subscribe as I'll be posting more videos soon.